Hello, viewer, and welcome to Games with Dialogue plays Return of the Obra Dinn. This is a mystery game set during the Age of Sail on the Obra Dinn, where I play a investigator trying to solve the deaths or disappearances of every member of the crew. The graphic style, if you can't tell from the screen, is a little limited. The whole game plays out in still frame. Well, almost the whole game, except for when you're controlling the investigator. But I want to put a disclaimer here at the front. There are scenes frozen in time of people's deaths. Personally, I don't have a problem with it. I've seen people play this game, but I'm a desensitized adult. What do I know? Also, because it's a mystery game, there's going to be a heck of a lot of spoilers. If I'm going to play through the beginning, the tutorial portion, uh, there's not a whole lot of spoilers there for the rest of the game. If you think you like it and want to play it yourself, I, there will be a point where I say this is where the spoilers kick in. Other than that, let's check out the options and then we can start. So the uh, monitor, you can click through and you get different... Um, colors, different styles. Personally, uh, I like this one, but I'm personal to this one. Smooth and sharp give you different... I actually kind of like that one, but it's not great. This one's smaller and sharper, but I'm going to stick with smooth. So that fuzzy look is intentional. Uh, controls, pretty simple. And then we have the sound quality. Now, I'm not sure how loud it is. Um, barely audible. The music to this game is fantastic, and I want to hear you to hear it, but I also don't want to be drowned out by the game, so it's kind of a mixed bag. I'm going to go with quite quiet and hope that I'm not too quiet. Although I'm going to be trying to talk as little as possible. Anyways, let's begin. Um, I had a playtime here where I tested the volume, and then a playtime here where I started to record, and it was too loud. So, I'll delete this one, and then we will jump in. Lost at Sea, 1803. Oberdin, built 1796. 51 crew members, last voyage to the Orient. Contact East India Company for inquiries or testimony. So I am an investigator with the East India Company. Insurance and claims, London office. Dispatch to Foulmouth, Falmouth. Immediately, maybe that's how you pronounce that. I don't know. Prepare for full assessment. <coughs> company man woke me up. Said you'd need ferry to the Obra Dinn. Not many eager for that job. Seems a bit late if you ask. I didn't. Huh. What's in the box? I don't know. I'll hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! How? Carefully. Okay, so first thing I want to point out, depending, I, I guess it's random or it um, rotates through, but the save file I had that I just deleted, my character's voice was female, and now it's male. I didn't get to choose, it just does it for you, but whatever, I'll stick with it since I'm a guy. I'm a dude. Um... What did I want to do? Oh, yeah. Uh, controls. One more time. Action, zoom, pause, open book, close book, table of contents. So, my mouse is my look, then. Okay. Alright, then. And WSAD moves me forward and around. Okay. Okay, so this is the ship where I'll be spending the majority of the game. 
Uh, now, I already know what to do, because I've seen it done here, but... Um, we'll just get to that point, first of all. Don't worry if it's a little slow to begin with. Things will pick up. I just need to get... Ah, there it is. It's too heavy. Just needed to get this guy to trigger his... Uh... How do I... Oh, right. Okay. It's too heavy. Take it yourself or open it here. Okay, so action? Wait, wait, there we go. Uh, yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, so I flipped the pages. Well, never mind. I'll let you read this real quick. Henry Evans sent me a book about the history of the Oberdin, or the the last fateful voyage. The journey, the ship, the crew. I can click on this and look at everybody on the manifest. How do I go back? Okay. Um, the ship. I get some deck plans. Right. Um... The route the ship was supposed to take. Is there a faster way than scrolling the wheel? Yeah, okay. So it was supposed to come down here and come back. Alright. And... Back cover. Well, we'll get to that. Table of contents so I don't have to... Okay, thank you. Glossary, life at sea. That's going to be important for the mystery. You've got everybody who was on the ship listed in this... And this will be important in a few moments. I'll get to that. Uh, and then the chapters of what happened. We start at the end. But, as I said, it's not really heavy on spoilers. And I'll let you know when we're about to transition. If you don't want to be spoiled on the game. How do I... <sighs> Back cover. Close the book. Tab. Thank you. <laughs> I forgot. Within the span of a minute. You gonna say anything? No? Just, all right. All right, let's go back up. Now we're gonna use the watch on the dead guy, and that will start our first chapter. How do I move faster? I for, I don't think I can. All right. And I've already forgotten the controls. Come on. Uh, zoom is E. I think I need to do that to use the watch. Space. Pause. Okay. Thank you. That. Okay. Space. Captain! Open the door! Kick it in. Ah! Uh, lest we break it down and take more than those shells! You bastards may taste exactly what I give you! Now, this is the whole game, pretty much. I will investigate a corpse, find their last moments, and then determine who it was, see the sketch, and who killed them, and how. And, I mean, this is this is par for the course for the rest of the game. There, uh, I hope that's not too graphic for their, everybody, but um, this is the game. I enjoyed it while watching it. Oh, sorry. Hey, who are you? All right. Um, enough to want to play it myself. So hopefully you do as well. And I know who you are. Right. 
Um, in a few moments, the first time you view a memory, it'll... Right? There we go. It'll kick you out. After that, I use the door that was behind the dude. So the first time you're limited in time, you, it's just really to look around and get an idea. And then after that, it, you can take your time. So I can look at what uh, the X's indicate who was talking. Uh, the the person that died was talking. That's fine. Uh, the sketch thankfully highlights everybody who was in the memory. All right, good. Uh, the location of the corpse right outside the captain's quarters. How did they die, and who is this? This is how everybody died. Um, there's three pages. There's a lot. But he was shot by a gun. Uh, and we don't know yet. But the memory... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. And the they, computer did that for me already. All right. So that's the first one. And now I'm in the memory and I can look around as I wish, but uh, I want to move on to the next one. All right. Well... Uh, after that, the door's open now. Thank you, Captain. Uh, and that'll be a, recur a reoccurring thing throughout the game. There's shut and locked doors, and access to the ship will open up as more memories are uncovered. Or more gruesomely, as, more body as the bodies pile up. Um, I've actually got three in here. And I know the way it goes, so I'll investigate this one first. Must be in here someplace. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. Okay. Well, uh, I mean, we already know pretty much. We don't know his name, but we know what happened there. Uh, so I'm pretty much just waiting for the timer to run out this first time around. And that guy from before is coming down with a knife in his mouth. And the guy who got shot is still dead. Good to know. Wait, was the axe there... ...in the real world? Or... not the real world. Uh, yeah. In the now time. I don't know. But we can definitely say this guy had his throat slit. And I'm guessing he's the captain because everybody keeps calling him the captain. Just to, just to, you know, just to guess. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put, uh, let's see, capitated, knifed, or... Yeah, all right. Looks like knifed. Um, unknown soul, unknown attacker. I'm going to put... I'm going to bookmark. There we go. Just because I don't know who he is. But I do know who killed him. Or I think I do. Uh, the captain? I'm going to guess that the guy who got shot... Whoops, too far, too far, too far. I want this one. Uh, same guy killed him, and they called him Captain, so. Alright, uh. 
Okay, let's leave this memory and then jump into the other body. Okay, but we're missing a body. Is it around back here? No? Hmm. All right, who are you? And what happened? Ah! So, the captain got stabbed, but, um... Uh, before that, he managed to, uh... Take this guy out. I don't know what your name is, sir. But the door's open now, which means it should be open in the now time. All right, I'm just waiting for the timer to run out. Yeah, this dude probably died from his knife wounds, but I'm sure this guy is the corpse that I'm investigating. And he's dead. Well, not quite, but yeah, he's dead. Uh, oh. Well, I knew she was in here, but... Oh, -ho, look! Another body to investigate. Once we get the chance. Come on. Where's that timer? Come on. There we go. Sometimes that timer's not long enough, and sometimes it's too long. Most of the time, it's not long enough. Okay, how did they die? Clubbed, do you think? Axed, burned, decapitated, expired? Is that like old age or... Okay. Killed, knifed, shot, speared, struck? No, that's okay. Uh, well, I guess clubbed would be the best one, right? By... Somebody we're assuming is the captain? Alright, let's get out of here. Is there a faster way to move? Walking's fine, but when I have a destination, I want to sprint. Let me sprint. Okay, so the door is open now. And... She's a skeleton now. So she had to... Well, not necessarily, but let's check out this one. I'm assuming this is the captain. Abigail. Your brother. My friend. I shot him. Dead. I'll be with you. Soon, my love. Please. Forgive me. For everything. Okay. Uh, that's an easy one. Suicide by gun. Right. So I'm assuming she's dead because she hasn't moved when she becomes a skeleton. Um. Uh, yeah. Let's just sit here and enjoy the music while we look at this terrible scene. I wonder if I can end it early. Nope. Alright. This should be one of the few times where it just goes on longer than I need it to. After that, we're golden. Okay. Well, I want to click at this real quick. No? Nope. No tutorial? All right. Meta no known fate. I'm going to say he suicided by gun. There we go. There's the... Mm-hmm. Which means they can now be identified. Right. 
use the book and the pocket watch to gather enough information to deduce their identity. Revisit memories on the ship using the pocket watch. Uh-huh. Thank you. Yes. Uh, use the book maps, crew manifest, and artist sketches, along with individual conversation, to find clues about names, relationships, appearances, and roles. There were 60 people on the ship. Determining everyone's identity and fate will not be easy. Decisive information is rare. You will have to make assumptions. Some identify ah, some identities may only be revealed through a process of elimination. Good luck. Well, all right. So I'm pretty much spot on about the captain, right? This may or not be correct. Fates are validated in sets of three. Correctly identify three people and their fates will have the information typeset into the book. All right. Uh, I don't think I need that. We're not sure if this is right because we don't have two other people's information. Uh, but he did say Abigail, didn't he? And he did say, I shot your brother. I've seen so many people hung up about whether or not this is right. And maybe it's because I've already actually seen what the answer is, but it just seems... It just seems so easy to figure this one out. Or at least make a guess. We're looking for Abigail. Witterall. So, Scotland. So if we can find another person from Scotland with the hyphenated last name, Oscott. And of course, I already know this dude... So, the first guy the captain shot was William. So, we could definitely... Where is that? Let me go back. Actually, I probably could have jumped... Can I jump to him from here? I don't remember... Oh, yeah, I can. Um, where was... See, this is tricky because it's not highlighted for me. I have to make a guess, but I think it was... Oh, yeah, because he's not... Everybody else is fuzzy, so... It, yeah. Shot by Captain. Right. Right. Okay. That's what I want to say. Okay. Um, and then Abigail, who... Closed the book. Thank you. Abigail, who I'm assuming is this one. Can I... No, I have to... Do I have to leave the memory, or can I look at her? Where's your... There we go. Yeah. It's not fuzzy, so we can maybe... That is Abigail? I mean, I know it is, but uh, because her face isn't fuzzy, we can deduce that that is Abigail. Also because I know her brother got shot by the captain. But that's how this works. You have to um, deduce. You have to put the clues together. You have to figure it out. Also, the chapter will tell you how many people died in it, so that's helpful. All right. All right. So now it's time to investigate this corpse, and here is where the spoilers are going to start, people. So, despite my ramblings, if you think this game might be up your alley, but don't want to be spoiled for the rest of the game, I urge you to stop watching now. Otherwise, we're about to dive in deep and get to the good part. Are you ready? Let's begin. Well, it looks like she was crushed by falling timbers. Or not? Holy cow, what?
There's some other people on ship. Right, I should probably be looking at them. Some dude. Okay. Uh, this guy, she called Martin. Yep, look, his face is already unblurred. Oh yeah, she was definitely struck by that rigging. This guy... Probably isn't long for the world if his arm's already wrapped up. This guy... So all these people will appear in this memory now. If I look at... Oh, dear! Ah, yeah. Graphic depictions of violence, but not really graphic. Just, uh, still frame. Like I said... Right. Ten others were present, so we got this guy. This lady... Wait a minute. Why are there... Interesting. Their faces are not... Hmm. Their faces are not blurred, but I didn't get any information about them yet. This dude. This guy. That's gotta be Martin, right? And then, yeah, that's, why is this guy's face not, oh, oh, because he's standing right next to the wheel. He's standing right next to the wheel. He's got to be the guy who drives the ship, right? Where, okay, all right, so I got, I got that. Who is this? How did they die? Um, where are you? Where are you? Uh, hmm. Let me, let me do it this way. Abigail, there we go. And you were crushed by rigging. Sure. Whoop! Three fates correct? Uh-huh. Right. Her brother. Right. Okay. Uh, close book. All right. So this is what happens when you run out of bodies. And there are more deaths in a memory. In this case, I'm going to just... Well, I'll just show you. If I hold down space, it'll highlight the next one to jump to. I investigate the body. And... In the, in the real world, in the here and now... It will... Thank you. And now I can investigate the moment of his death. Yeah, torn apart. Pretty obvious. By... This thing. Uh, what's the word of... Kraken. That's right. The Kraken. This dude... Got... Caught by... A tentacle, right? Right. So where is... Uh, that's the end of the boat. This guy... This guy... That's Martin, right? Maybe? Maybe not. Uh... This dude... And then Abigail dies over here somewhere. Okay. Uh... He looks dead. Yeah. What happened to him? He'll probably be the next one I investigate.
Who is this? How did they die? Well, I know how they died. That's pretty obvious. Uh, what do you think? Crushed? Or... Let's see. Uh... Torn apart. By... Beast? Sure. Uh, I'm also gonna bookmark it. Because I don't know what his name is. There we go. There we go. And it's shaking again. Um... It is probably... Yeah. That's what I figured. You're the only other dead dude on deck. So... Okay. Right over there, right? Not far. Oh my god, just land! There we go. What? Uh... Was this the dude who... He looks like he would have been torn apart by if somebody... Where's that rope going? Uh... Oh, he just lashed himself to that so he wouldn't fly away. Alright. But that guy's the one who I'm investigating, right? And he blew up? I guess the tentacle grabbed him. Somebody blew him up. Oh, oh, and now this should be open. This guy coming upstairs with all these guns for everybody. This guy is about to get torn apart. I don't see the... Oh, somebody got dropped overboard. Yeah, that's probably how that guy died. Um, Just a guess. Just a wild guess. And then the door for when I need it in the future... I think that might be it for the memory, but now I can go downstairs. So what should I say? Exploded? Uh, yeah. I'll probably just say... Let's see here. Exploded. It's a good one. And mark him on the memory. Because I don't know what his name is. Okay, and we can leave. There we go. Alright. Yep, and there we go. Now I can go downstairs. Alright, I think that's a good intro to the game. I hope you're intrigued. I know I am. I like this game a lot. It's uh, presented in a very simple style. Simple is not a derogatory term. Anyways, uh, I'm going to continue this series um, until... I want to say until completion. I'm not sure how difficult the game is going to get in the future. Hopefully not to the point where I just quit in frustration. But I'm going to try to see this one through. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm intrigued. Uh, I'm enjoy and I am enjoying myself. And I enjoy what I've seen uh, from other players. Anyways, uh, I'll continue this in episode two. Until then, stay safe, everybody, and God bless you.